After 35 years in the music business, my next guest says he feels like he is starting over again. He's a familiar face to us here at 100 Huntley Street. I'm excited to bring you some amazing updates from award-winning singer and former co-host of this program, Kevin Pauls. Hello. Thanks so much for joining this us. This is great. This feels a little bit like a homecoming. Right? I love it. It has been a bit of a homecoming. Everyone's yeah. coming over to say hi. I know. It's been great. How are you doing? It's so good to see you, and it's so good to hear these amazing updates. So you say Thank you me. feel like you're starting over. Yeah. How? What's happening? Well, I was, I was six years old the first time I said I wanted to sing with Gaither, and I've, I've had these these moments in my life where I've been going after this. And, and it's weird, it wasn't just a music dream. I had a specific dream for some reason that there was something about what Gaither did. So Bill Gaither, Bill Gaither Southern specifically. Gospel icon. Yeah, and, and I didn't really do a lot of Southern Gospel music. My stuff was started out a little bit, a lot more pop and a lot more rock and just kept doing stuff that was being embraced by that audience. And, and so after, a little over 35 years of doing this, um, I finally walked into Gaither Music in Nashville and I said, I want a deal. <laughs> and they said, let's sign you. Let's do something. Let's do some music together. Like every so, musician right now is like, can I take was, notes on how you did that? Well, there was a long process <laughs> up to that point. <laughs> okay. But it was funny. I, I went in and I, I had known them for a long, long time. And I'd been around Gaither for, well, for 25 years, I'd been singing on and off with them and doing some specials. And and I finally walked in with a couple of ideas and, and I went into to Gaither Music and I said, I want to do this, this, and this. And so he called the guy from one of their boutique labels, Green Hill, and they started chatting and they said, well, let's, let's try something. Let's do something together. And so for the first time, I'd always been an independent. I did my own thing. And, and so for the first time, I had a record label of the guy that I wanted to be a part of, the whole Gaither world. Um, and they said, let's, let's try to partner together and, and do, some, do some new music. And, and it's... There's been opportunities through that that I have felt like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of starting over. It feels, I feel like I'm way too old to be saying I'm starting over. <laughs> However, it, it feels like that. There's new doors, there's new opportunities, and so I, I'm really, really excited and, and honored to be able to do some of this new stuff. Okay, so and you are a man of faith, so 35 years of slogging it out in the trenches, yeah. and now your first record deal. Yeah. Tell me how you're spiritually processing this. Like, what is God doing? I, it's, it's funny. I don't think I could have handled any amount of success in my 20s. I was not ready. Not, I'm not saying that I all of a sudden got this huge amount of success. That's not what I'm equating it to. I don't think I was ready for a lot of things to happen in my life. Mm -hmm. Every time something seemed like it was coming easy, something would happen. And there always seemed to be this refinement mm -hmm. that was happening more refinement than I would have liked. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> right? You're preaching to the choir. But even as much as a few years ago, there's just rub ed uh, rough edges that were being, you know, kind of just smoothed over. And, and I've been through enough things in my life where I, I, I just look at things differently. I think I've got something more to say than I've ever had. I don't have anything to say in my 20s and 30s. I got stuff to say now. I've been through stuff. I've, I've fought battles mm -hmm. and I've felt the hand of Jesus in the middle of the battles um, still give me hope when I didn't think there was any. Mm, so much hope for people mm. out there. And I know you're, you're working at a local church as well here yeah. in Canada. You're in Nashville every month. And there's some things happening on the home front. Did I hear something about 30, how many years of marriage is it now? Oh, it's, gonna, it's 35 years coming up in August Amazing. and we just had our sixth grandbaby and we've got a seventh grandbaby coming. Um, so life feels really good um, in my home front. Um, and I also have zero expectations musically. I get to do some things that I love. And if this takes off even more, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I get the chance to sing new songs, partner with bigger people than myself. And I get to, I get to show that there's hope. Because if one thing my life can say is that there's hope. When you think it's gone, when you think it's over, mm -hmm. there is hope. And I've, I've kind of walked this journey where I thought it was over, but I never felt left by God, if that makes sense. Yeah, and you had moments that you were ready to quit. Like, you're like, I'm quitting. This is done. done with music. I'm going to do something <laughs> more, like, stable for yeah. my family. Well, I mean, that was almost every week. <laughs> However... <laughs> There was, and I, I say this, and again, not because I'm, I'm sitting on the set of 100 Huntley Street, but when I came here to start just to do whatever, and, and they said, do music, and then co-host, and 
I was just a part of the show and part of this family. The day I got that call was the day I put it all away. I was literally done my music business. I sat at my desk and I wish I could, I wish I could emphasize the fact that what I'm saying is 100% true. I sat at my desk, I'd set it up in my office and I was done with music. I was gonna go back into the business world. And literally 20 minutes after I said I was done, Melissa from this show called me and she says, what are you doing tomorrow? Um, why? <laughs> and she said, we want you to come and sing something. And that just, it, it spiraled. Every time I wanted to put the mic down and say, I'm over, it's over, I'm done, there seemed to be some other reason for me to continue to do it. Mm. And so all I can say is I'm really glad that I'm still doing it because he has helped me fulfill dreams that I've had since I was six. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, we couldn't be more excited for you. Thank you. You're a part of the family here at 100 Huntley Street. We are going to hear some music in just a moment, so nobody can go away. <laughs> Stay with us.